I've um, pulled this battery pack, four uh, lithium batteries here, um, from this, which is actually the module of um, NEXG silent guitar, which is there in bits over there. NEXG. What happened was uh, it wasn't charging at all. It was showing charging on the display, but um, it didn't actually charge. It never charged, and um, there's a big problem. So what it did is I dismantled it. There's a video online showing how to dismantle one of these. I, I might put a link in the description if anyone's interested. And um, I stripped off the covering of this uh, battery pack. This, all these battery packs are managed by a battery management system and if one of the batteries in there or more of them drop below 3.2 volts the battery management system won't charge the batteries up. So that's what was going on with it. So what I had to do is individually charge the ones that weren't charging which are marked with an X there. One was at um, 2.9 volts and the other one was at 3 volts that's below the 3.2 minimum so what did I do to charge those individual ones up as you see they're wired in um, series there um, so there's a terminal at one end and a terminal at the other the positive terminal is normally where the ridge is there and you can see that the positive terminals look different from the negative there and this is an unprotected cell. Um, the protected ones have a, like a, a dome top to them. Um, like, well, these are other cells that I had. Uh, they have a domed top, um, a protection circuit on them. Let me just pull this off and show you. Yeah, they have a dome top. And what happens if anything happens with them, they let out, they vent basically. And there's a way to fix these if they they've got no continuity there at all they're dead there's a way of fixing these which i which i know but these ones here are unprotected so what did i do to charge them well i took my my bench uh, power supply i set it to um, 3.7 volts and limited the current at 1.8 amps because if you don't limit the current these things can draw like four amps or whatever to charge up so you have to limit the current and what all i did was i took the two ends of my um, power supply with these clips i clipped them one on the negative here and one on the positive here which is joined to the next battery so across this bar here and i charged it like that for about a minute then I removed the clips, tested it with my multimeter again, and it had gone up from uh, 3 volts to um, 3.2 volts, which is fine. So I did that on these two here, and now, as you can see, I've plugged the short USB charging cable into the main unit, and the battery's in here, and it is charging properly. In fact, it's saying fully charged. I'm going to leave it for a few minutes like that but it's fully charged and that is the problem with this particular thing resolved anyway uh, if you've got an NEXG that's not charging properly and I think there's a lot of them out there this is a solution to actually fixing it so thanks very much for watching and I hope well I know this will be helpful to someone who's got an NX, NEXG because there's nothing online about these and how to sort out this problem with the charging in fact the unbalanced cells okay thanks very much for watching